hello guys welcome to another exciting day welcome to my channel welcome to yg digital watch i remain your host agu joseph so guys on today's tutorial video we'll be working on an advertising design precisely so we'll be working on the brand called nike okay it's a shoe brand precisely so one of the core of this lesson has to do with how to pass the right message with the shoe as your illustration for this uh, advertising uh, design okay and likewise we'll be learning how to make use of colors okay how to make use of colors we'll be working on that and how to create shadows okay realistic shadows okay in this design project okay so first thing first we have to create the canva workspace for this design so over here i have photoshop 20 23 that's what i'm using for this tutorial okay so first thing first you have to create a canva workspace for this project so slide over here and click on new file so on the photoshop interface the new document panels comes up so you can choose to give your project a title that is a name here our unit of measurement is set on inches 4 by 4 of height and width precisely resolution is set on 300 color mode is set on rgb okay this content will be posted on social media platforms and web platforms precisely it won't be printed so after you're done with that you click on the create button so here we have the canva workspace for this design so here are the images i'm using for this uh, design project okay so the first here has to do with the shoe so I always advise that you always convert your image to a smart object by doing so it enables you to maintain quality. So after doing that, you hit Ctrl T on the keyboard to actually transform and scale down the size of the sneakers. Okay, after you're done scaling down the size of the sneakers, you check. So after you're done scaling down the size of the sneakers, you check. Then I need to remove this background uh, feel of shadow. So all I have to do is to pick my mouse to come to where I have uh, the layer here. Hold control. My mouse pointer changes to this where I have the layer on my layer panel. I left click to make a quick selection of the sneakers. Okay. Click control shift I on my keyboard to invert my selection. After doing that, you click on the max. Okay. That is in, uh, the add vector max icon here. Now you notice that uh, it has removed uh, the shoe from uh, the Canva workspace. So hit control I to invert the max right click and convert the layer to a smart object okay that's for that after we are done with that come to the we have the background slide over to adjustment all the way to gradient and on, on the gradient here i would like to select this okay but take note that when creating the background fill color you can choose to sample color from the product okay to create your fill okay so i've already done that so on this end here is the hex code for the color i'm using so i sample the color from uh, the sneakers so by taking it a step further i choose the darker shade of this this color precisely so here i have another sheet of the color so after doing that click on ok so here i have to rotate the angle I think this is okay this way i can choose to reduce the scale okay after we are done click on okay that is for that okay so after we are done with this i need to create a field of texture on the background so i hit ctrl shift n on the keyboard call this noise okay change this to soft light enable the 50 percent view option okay right click and convert this to a smart object come to filter all the way to noise and add noise so you add a feel of noise that is not too uh, heavy okay that is just for the background so after you are done with that we'll come to the next uh, phase which is uh this uh, product image so i need to create a feel of a uh, shadow on for the shoe precisely so all i have to do is to hit ctrl j on the keyboard to make a duplicate so i'll take the new duplicated layer beneath the original layer so after i'm done with that i'll double click on the layer the layer styles uh comes up on the layer styles precisely so to come over here and pick a color from here precisely and take it down this way 
I don't need the shadow to be completely black. I just need it to be in the darker shade of uh, the shoe. Precisely. So I click on OK. Click on OK. Click on T. Right click and flip vertically. Okay. So after you are done flipping vertically, you can choose to rotate the angle. Okay. Okay. So for this, you can choose to hold control on your keyboard, then left click and drag on this anchor point to make necessary adjustments to the anchor point precisely. Okay. Okay, so after you are done with that, you click on the OK. Okay, so after you are done with the anchor point, come to filter here, all the way to blog gallery, all the way to tilt shift. So on the tilt shift, you come over here, where you have this, you rotate it this way to about angle 90 precisely. So you come over here, drag this over here. Okay. So let me zoom in. So I'll come over here, take this this way. Okay. Well, I can choose to keep this along this region. So if I choose to increase the blur, you see what happens. I'm trying to create a smooth transition in the blur precisely. So I can still choose to take this in this way. And still take this in this way. Okay. So after I'm done with this, I think uh, the blur strength is good. I choose to click on OK. So after you're done with that, you can still choose to adjust the position this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, after you're done with that, add the vector max to this. Pick your brush. Okay, make sure you have selected the max and your foreground color is set on black. Control the strength of your flows. Scale down your brush size. You can then choose to brush out this way smoothly with much uh, issues. So you can choose to adjust the shadows precisely. Okay, that's for that. This way. So after you're done, select both layers and group them together and call them sneakers. Okay, Ctrl T on the keyboard and adjust their position on the canvas so after you're done with this you can choose to now place in your text pick your text to left click and paste in your text over here okay ctrl a select the whole text and change this to white fill precisely and check so for this I will take out this left click and paste it in here. So I will transform the size of this text and making use of the monster and fonts precisely for this. So change the character that is the font size, the font style to bold precisely. So I have to place it behind the sneakers group. So after this, enable the logo icon, double click on it, come to color valley and change the fill color to white, click on OK, Ctrl T and transform and scale it down and position it somewhere around here this way. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's tutorial, if you find this uh, tutorial helpful, do well too. Give this video a like if you're new to the channel and if you like to see more content like this do well to smash the subscribe button turn on the post notification to get notification whenever i upload new content if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys for always watching please and please don't forget to give this video a like thank you guys for watching